When we first started SMRB, we were nobody. Now it's completely different. We're like a community sort of watch group. We go out, we search for stolen bikes. Obviously we recover them, we return them back to the owners free of charge. The, the first ever recovery that, that we'd done was just a spur of the moment sort of thing. I seen two lads on a bike come past my house and then five minutes later I seen them walk out of another street. Uh, I, I knew where the bike would be, so I got dressed, walked up, found the bike, took it back to my property. We got all the owner and it was it was a, a really good feeling to see him reunited with his bike, because that was his lifeline. And then it was nice, about yeah. three months after we got the bike back to him, we see, well, I'd seen him riding up the road, wasn't it? Yeah. I ended up ringing Martin, you know, sort of tearing the eye, mate, mate, he's out! <laughs> that sort of thing, it's just that, you know, sense of pride. I think that, that's what sort of pushed us on, just to see if we can get another one. And then let's go and see if we can get another one. There's a couple of things that keep us sort of doing it, really. Like, we're bikers, that's probably the main thing, is the passion for bikes. We can't stand seeing fellow bikers without their bikes. You know, it's like losing a limb. So yeah, a lot of people think that, you know, we're vigilantes or, I'm thinking we've got superheroes. <laughs> we don't go out, we don't go looking for them, we don't go looking for trouble. We're literally, we're just after bikes. That's, that's what we want, it's just the bikes. Most of the time they dump it in places like this. It's literally somewhere sort of just out the way. It's, it's easy to get into, and in this specific field, there is what, seven ways you can get out. So easy for them to get away. So in the beginning we didn't, sort of really have a relationship with the police. We didn't know what was going on. Our first bike we found, we didn't even contact them because we didn't know if we would get arrested for you know, for handling stolen goods. But I mean, it developed then. It was sort of set out what we could do, the legalities of things and how we could stop ourselves getting in trouble and make sure everything's sort of legal. And then from there has moved on to not just a relationship with the inspector, but relationship with the actual officers on the beat. A huge community following. It, we find that there's people there that don't have a passion for bikes, they don't have bikes themselves, but they're in the group and they're keeping an eye out for, for stolen bikes because they're fed up with it happening in their area. So I believe it was in October 2017, the, the like bike theft rate, I think it was about 700 and something reported stolen bikes. October 2018, and it went down to about two or 300 bikes in a year. I know it's a reduction of about 75%. We, we'd love to do some sort of community project with the, with the younger generation. Um, obviously, they've got some kind of interest in bikes, otherwise they won't be out pinching bikes and riding them. But at the minute, budget restricts absolutely everything. We live in South Bristol. There's no community centres around there for kids. So they've got nothing here, nowhere to go, nothing to do. The government needs to fund these community projects for kids and that, like, you know, all the community centres and that. That's not just, an, I suppose, a place for them to go for fun. That's a place where they go and learn how to become an adult, how to treat people with respect, what they want to do in their life, where their aspirations are coming from. The end goal is to be not needed. You know, that, that is the end goal, obviously. But while we're needed, we'll be here. Um, to be fair, I think the only way that we won't be needed is a case of the police being given the budget that they need. If we can influence people to, you know, get up, get off their backside do and something. do something, make Stop a difference. Talk.